everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a video on are microphone extensions actually good and should you actually consider buying them. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Also, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can get five likes on today's video. That would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, let's get right into the topic. So if you don't know what I'm going to be talking about, microphone extensions would be either a pop filter as well as a scissor arm. Now, if you actually don't know what those things are, here's an image on your screen of both of those products. I personally use them and you might be wondering should I actually invest a little bit of money and actually buy these things and do they really work? Alright now the first product that I'm going to be talking about and that's going to be a pop filter. Now you might be wondering what is a pop filter? Now if you actually do not know what a pop filter is, they come in many different shapes and sizes. They can come as kind of a foam thing that goes on top of your microphone as well as they could come in kind of a little screen that goes over your microphone and they can even be a sock. And the purpose of a pop filter and that is it's supposed to stop some sounds coming from your mouth and like air that goes and hits the microphone, it's supposed to stop that because if you actually have noticed, if let's say you were to breathe on a microphone, it doesn't sound that great. I think we've all heard it from one person or another. So a pop filter is supposed to stop that, as well as if you were to make a sound like a p or a t sound. They're very sharp sounds and what you do is you have to blow air out of your mouth and when that hits the microphone it can sound really nasty. So that is the purpose of a pop filter and I have noticed that they actually does work. I've been using my pop filter for about a year now and I have noticed that if I were to make a p and a t sound they don't sound as prevalent. Here's a little test. Right now I'm going to be talking to my microphone with a pop filter on. I'm going to be making some p and t sounds so here we go. And now I'm going to be saying from the same distance except without my pop filter. And as you can see with that test, it sounds a little bit better if I actually have my pop filter on as opposed to with my pop filter off. As well as I've noticed that my pop filter actually really does help with other things like if let's say you were to make some noises and maybe it's like some air goes out of your mouth and it hits the microphone, it really helps with that. And I noticed that overall, a pop filter is just kind of a little thing that does help out a lot. And one amazing thing and that is a lot of the times with pop filters are actually really cheap. If you want to get a foam pop filter, they're usually like 99 cents to like three dollars if you have a microphone like a blue yeti as well as like an audio technica and it's really nice because they actually come in all different colors like green red black white whatever you want your color of the pop filter to be as well if you actually want a screen pop filter which is actually the one that i'm using right now those only run for like ten dollars which means that it's really cheap and from my experience i've noticed that a pop filter really does help improve my audio quality and unless you're using like a 500 dollars studio microphone i'd recommend maybe getting a pop filter so now I'm going to be moving on to the next accessory for a microphone and that's going to be a scissor arm. Now if you ever actually saw any inside video of maybe from like a recording studio, you probably know what a microphone arm is. And if you actually do not know what it is, this is a picture of it on your screen right now. As well as I actually use this to record my videos and I am currently using it right now. Now some of the benefits of a microphone arm and that is for one, it actually keeps your microphone off of the ground. Which means if let's say you're done recording the video, you don't have to worry about letting me like putting it in a corner and maybe getting dust on it and things like that. A microphone arm means that you have a little bit more desk space and you don't have to worry about your microphone maybe being shoved off to the side and maybe you have a very busy desk, maybe you have a big keyboard or maybe like a couple monitors and you don't actually have enough room for maybe a big microphone on your desk. So this actually is one really big benefit of having a microphone arm. Another great reason why you actually might want to buy a microphone arm and that is actually really does improve your quality because maybe you might be talking into your microphone, you're making a commentary, then all of a sudden there's a desk vibration, you know your desk moves a little bit and the problem with that is if that were to hit the microphone it's going to shake a little bit and the audio quality is going to be really bad for that part in your commentary and the great thing about the microphone arm you won't have to worry about this because since it's actually over your desk you don't have to worry about those vibrations actually disrupting your audio quality and one amazing thing about the microphone arm if you wanted to get a cheaper one like the one that i have right here it only runs for maybe like 10 or 15 dollars and a lot of the times if you were to maybe want to buy a pop filter as well as a microphone arm a lot of the times on amazon you can actually buy them in a bundle and most most of the times it's under $20. So after you watch this video, you might be wondering, should I actually buy one of these things? I would say maybe you should because from my own personal experience, I've noticed that my audio quality has gone up since I actually bought these products as well as they're actually very cheap. So you don't have to worry about breaking the bank if you actually want to buy one. If you want to get more of the high end like pop filters as well as scissor arms, they may run you a couple hundred dollars. However, if you want to get more of the cheaper versions, then they're only going to run you like 15 or $20. So you won't be breaking the bank by any means. 
means. And yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe to help me get to 1,000 YouTube subscribers before the end of 2017. And don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.